Hey guys, it's I Want a Turtle, and today we're going to be opening a White Curium GX Dragon's Majesty Special Collection box. Uh, so this thing comes with looks like five Dragon Majesty packs, a White Curium Full Art, and then a uh, White Curium Non GX card. So let's just go right into it, and kind of we'll talk about um, just some other parts of my collection. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a Japanese promo card that I've obtained and kind of about the um, comparing you know, English promos to their Japanese counterparts. Alright, so, but for the Kirium box, let's get into this. I do like how these ones are, are packed in where they kind of keep the card there just with this other piece of plastic and it feels like it's much less likely to be damaged. See, uh, pretty off center, but it's no no dings or nicks that I can see. And this white curium, Cairo curium, um, always felt like this card had some potential. Though I'm not aware of them being too prominent in the meta game. Uh, however, just for one fire, 40 damage that isn't affected by any effects on your opponent. And the Raging Blaze, so you do need three different energies on him. Fire, Water, and then a Colorless, but if it has any damage token counters on him, it does 160, which uh, I feel like could be very viable. Alright, so we got our five packs. Side, we do have a no K coin. No pin for this one, which is kind of disappointing. Definitely place, I place more value on the... the uh, Pin than the coin, and another another jumbo card. I do like that this one is uh, a full art versus just a regular GX. And so we have five booster packs, and let's go this order. Start with the Russian Ram. Alright, so stuff that we're still trying to hit. Um, I think the thing I'm looking for the most would be that reverse Charizard again. Alright, Lightning Energy. Quagsire. Zygarde. Zinnia. Charmander. Wishy Washy. Toja. Bagel. Horsey. Reverse Quagsire. And then a Hollow Blaziken. Second pack, Lightning Energy again, Fion, Darmanitan, Combuskin, Phoebus, Darumaka, Akamo'o, Tradini, Kangaskhan, Reverse Zinnia, and... Ooh, alright. Never have enough Charizards. This one looks like it's in quite good condition. Although, again, hoping for a reverse one. Alright, very nice. But yeah, we're, so we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, state of the promo cards, especially when it comes to English versus Japanese. Um, to get right to my own opinion is I feel like the Japanese promos are done much better better where some like straight up a lot of them there's a lot of Japanese exclusive ones I just think are awesome um, that I don't really blame them for not bringing them all to English just because I feel like the English promos like how many promos are actually sought after on the English side just because they're kind of like overprinted and there's energy always very nice and basic and again um, yeah, in, in these kinds of boxes, and I, I guess in many ways it's a good thing where they're very, very available to people. Um, 
but when it comes to you know just the um, perceived value I feel like the English ones have a much lower perceived value than the Japanese counterparts especially the exclusive ones uh, so my, my understanding is that the Japanese promos they're not necessarily expensive uh, they might be on like the secondary market but for for people to get them like it's just kind of like you have to you just have to be there but they're not necessarily expensive I think a lot of times they're just they come with like a purchase that you make or um, for some event at a Pokemon Center in Japan but they're just uh, some of them are just great like uh, hopefully we, we talk about them again in another video show specific examples but you got like the the Pikachu cosplay cards, the Mario, the Mario cards, and different ones like that. Cedra Reverse, and then a Kingdra, Kingdra GX. This guy is always kind of interesting. Uh, all of his attacks only cost one energy for a stage two, which can obviously be quite nice. Uh, however, this one depends on how many water energies you have. So, yeah, I don't think he ever mounted to much. But kind of a cool card. I feel like I don't know, I never gave Kingja much much credit. Uh, I think it just I just felt that Horsey and Sijo were never never seemed that powerful to begin with. So the next version of it uh, didn't didn't do it enough. Didn't make a big enough impact to kind of like change that. Combuskin, Shellgun, Drampa. Land it. Litten. Teeny. Darumaka. Horsey. Homo. Oh, and Altaria. So many of these Altarias. Alright. So, our major hits here Reverse Psychic Energy. Always cool to have those. A another Charizard. And then a Kingdra GX. Uh, so this is the uh, one of the promos that I, I I'm not aware of this being available in English, and I just think it looks so cool. Uh, you got Charizard and being attacked by a Venusaur, and I think uh, again, so I think I think this one was available uh, as an event for a Pokemon Center in Japan, and I think you had to buy a book or something, and maybe that just came with it, uh, but. Yeah, I, I just feel like the Japanese promos are just on another level uh, compared to the English. Um, and yeah, so this this might be something we talk about in future videos, uh, go through some of the ones I've obtained. And so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to support the channel, please like the video, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.